Hello and welcome to the Z Hut. Today I would like to show you how you can monetize your MIT App Inventor 2 apps with AdMob. Now in MIT App Inventor itself it doesn't have this option but you can go ahead and build your app in there. I'm going to show you here in just a moment how we add the AdMob to it. So you can go ahead use the MIT App Inventor and I have that opened up right here so um, if you're watching this video, I'm sure you know what it is, or you wouldn't be watching this anyway. But go ahead, make your app, but then export it as an AIA. Don't make it to an APK file, because you won't be able to do this. So what you do is you go over and you look from, I'll put a link below in the description there. And you want to go to this site called um, Thunk, Thunkable, I do believe is how that's pronounced, dot com. And, uh, well, the MIT App Inventor is kind of open sourced. So what this other company has done is they've added some features. Now, you can come right here. If you haven't designed your app yet, you can come and design it right on here. It works the same as MIT App Inventor. It's pretty much just a clone of it. But it does have a few extra features that um, the regular MIT App Inventor does not have. If you look in the user interface here, you'll notice there's a few more things to select from. But the biggest and what we are interested in is we go down to Experimental and we got the AdMob Ad Mob Banner and AdMob Interstitial, I believe is how it's pronounced. Now the banner, of course, the banner and what the second one is here is this does a full screen ad. So what you do is you just click and you add whichever one. I'm going to show you here on the, the banner and we drag that in and put it at the top because that's where you're going to want it. Um, I do believe you can put it at the bottom as well. I guess I haven't tried that because most of the time you have them at the top. Then what you do is you come over here in the properties when it's selected and you put in your ad unit ID. That's your your ad mob ID. And uh, to do that, there's plenty of videos on how to do that with AdMob. Um, when you're done watching this one, just look. Um, if you don't have an AdMob account or how to get your ID, there's tons and tons of videos on that. But I did notice there's not a whole lot on how to do this. Um, there are some other videos where there's other companies that have a similar interface to this. It's a clone of MIT App Inventor, but they charge money to go and do this. This one here is free. So this is the one I suggest, Thunkable. So you put that in here, and then you want to make sure you remove the test mode. Um, only leave the test mode on when you're testing this, like you're you're connecting to the, um, the emulator, or you're putting it on your own device. And it'll just uh, throw test banner in here. It won't be, it'll probably look like this, thunkable or something like that. But once you uh, save this, and you're going to make the APK file, make sure... You take the test mode off. Then, of course, there's the full page. And it brings up a warning there to tell you how to use these. And there's the interstitial. And again, you just put your ad unit ID in there. And again, if you don't know how to get that, there's actually just go to the AdMob webpage or website. And after you sign up for your account in the help section, it tells you it's really easy to get this. So don't worry. And then also remember, once you make, you're making your final APK, take the test mode off. And that's all there is to it. Um, then you can actually monetize your MIT App Inventor app. And once again, if you haven't designed the app already, and you're going to be adding this to future app, you can just come right here and design it. Uh, you make an account just like you do with... Um, MIT App Inventor and you use your same Gmail or whatever. But all right, with that, we'll end this video up. I'd like to thank you for joining us here today. If you found the information useful, please give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. So I hope to see you here again. And remember, have fun building apps.